Hello everyone and welcome to Anka's Kitchen. Today I want to inspire you to make a raspberry tartlet that is elegant, delicious and beautiful and I know you guys will love it. So let's get started! We start with the mascarpone cream. The ingredients we need are mascarpone cheese, sugar, heavy whipping cream, milk, and gelatin mess. We place the milk in a saucepan. Then we add the sugar and the gelatin mess. And then we place the mixture on medium heat and we bring the mixture to 60 degrees Celsius. We want the gelatin to melt and the sugar to dissolve. Then we remove from the heat. We add the mascarpone cream to the hot mixture and we mix. Then we place the mixture into a jug and we blend using an immersion blender. This will help the mixture combine well. Then we add the cold heavy whipping cream and we mix with a spatula. We pour the mixture into a clean bowl and we cover it with clean filming contact and we place it in the fridge for 12 hours to set. Next, we make the raspberry confit and compote. The ingredients we need are raspberry puree, frozen raspberries, sugar, pectin and age, lemon juice and glucose syrup. We add the strawberry puree to the glucose syrup. We also add the lemon juice. Then we combine the sugar and pectin and age and we mix them well. Next, we warm up the strawberry puree mixture to 40 degrees Celsius. And then we start adding the pectin and sugar gradually while mixing using a whisk. After adding the pectin and sugar, we bring the mixture to a boil on medium heat and we cook it for 30 seconds. And the confit is ready. In a clean bowl, we measure 50 grams of confit, which we will use for decoration. Then we add the frozen raspberries to the rest of the confit in the saucepan and we'll cook this mixture on medium heat, stirring constantly for one minute. And our compote is ready. We let it cool and in the meantime, we place cling film on the 50 grams of confit that we measured and we place it in the fridge to set. Then we place the compote into a clean bowl and we cover it with clean filming contact and we place it in the fridge to set. Next, we make the raspberry cake, but first we preheat the oven to 356 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. The ingredients we need for the raspberry cake are flour, almond flour, sugar, egg whites, egg yolks, whole egg, olive oil, baking powder, honey, freeze-dried raspberry powder, and lemon zest. We place the egg whites into the mixing bowl of the stand mixer. Another clean mixing bowl, we add the egg yolks, the whole egg, half of the sugar, lemon zest, the almond flour, and the honey. We mix them just to combine. Then we start whisking the egg whites on medium speed and at the same time using a hand mixer, we whisk the egg mixture till it turns into a fluffy light color mixture. Once the egg whites turn into light foam, we start adding the sugar gradually and we keep mixing on medium speed till soft but stable peaks form. We also whisk the egg yolk mixture till it's fluffy and it doubled in volume. Now the egg yolk mixture is done, it is beautiful and fluffy and now we place it into a bigger mixing bowl in which we will combine all the ingredients in the end. 
In the bowl in which we mix the egg yolk mixture, we place the olive oil and we set the two bowls aside while we prepare the dry ingredients. In another clean mixing bowl, we sift the flour, the freeze-dried raspberry powder and the baking powder and we mix with a whisk to combine very well. Our meringue is ready. It is beautiful, soft, but with stable peaks and perfect for our raspberry cake. Now we add a third of the meringue to the egg yolk mixture and we mix to combine. Then we add a part of the dry ingredients and we fold in gently to combine. Next, we add another third of the meringue and we fold in gently. After that, we add the rest of the dry ingredients and we fold in gently. And then we add a fourth of the batter to the olive oil and we mix to combine well. Lastly, we add the last part of the meringue and we fold in gently and we get a beautiful natural pink colored batter and we are ready to bake it. We pour the batter onto a prepared baking pan. I lined my baking pan with a silicon mat. The size of the baking pan is 38 by 28 centimeters. We pour the batter into the baking pan and we spread it in an even layer. We bake for 10 minutes or until golden brown. You can check for doneness by introducing a toothpick. If it comes out clean, the cake is done. We also remove the skin that formed on the surface, peeling it by hand or using a knife, and we let it cool down completely at room temperature. We place a parchment paper on top, followed by a cutting board, and we flip it over. The cake comes out easily and we remove the silicon mat and we let it cool completely. Now we can move on to prepare the tartlets for baking. But first we preheat the oven to 340 degrees Fahrenheit or 171 degrees Celsius. We prepare the egg wash for which we need heavy whipping cream and egg yolks. We mix the egg yolks. Then we pour the cream over the egg yolks. And then we strain the mixture. Using a pastry brush, we apply the egg wash on the half-baked tartlet shells. If you would like to learn how to make these tartlet shells, make sure you follow my channel ASMR Anka's Kitchen because there I will post a video for the tartlet shells and I will leave the link to my channel in the description of this video. So we apply the egg wash to the tartlet, covering the sides as well. This layer protects the tartlet shell from getting soggy once we assemble it. After applying the egg wash, we place our tartlets on perforated silicone mat and we bake the tartlets for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. After baking, we let the tartlets cool completely before assembling. Once the raspberry sponge cake cooled, we can cut out small oval shapes for our tartlets. Remaining sponge cake can be frozen for up to two months, wrapped in cling film. Now we are ready to assemble our tartlets. We take out of the fridge the strawberry confit and we remove the cling film. The confit jellified, so we want to mix it to make it creamy. 
and we place it into a pastry bag. We also take out the raspberry compote, we remove the clink film, we mix it. And then we place it into a pastry bag. And we set it aside. To fill the tars and to decorate, we use the mascarpone cream that has been in the fridge for 12 hours. We remove the clink film and then we take half of the cream and we mix it on medium speed. Till we get creamy consistency. And then we place the cream in a pastry bag. While we assemble the tartlets, we place the rest of the cream in the fridge. We pipe cream into the tartlet. And then we place the sponge cake in the center of the tartlet, pressing gently. We cover the tartlet with raspberry compote. And we smooth it out with a spatula. Then we take out of the fridge the other half of the cream and we mix it on low speed at first. And then we increase the speed to maximum. We mix it until stable but still soft and pipeable. We place the cream into a pastry bag with a French star tip. and we decorate the tarts. You can decorate the tarts to your liking. We can use fresh raspberries to decorate. And we place in the center a few raspberries upside down. And we fill them with the raspberry confit. We can also use green leaves, you can choose any that you like, and our tarts are ready. Here is my beautiful tart. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm ready to try it. It's so delicious. This tart highlights the amazing flavor of raspberry. It's so nice. It's so refreshing. You guys will love it, I'm sure. Try this recipe and let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. Also, let me know what other recipes you would like to see. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do so yet. You might like this video or this video, so check them out. Thank you again and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!